Good morning all. We welcome you in the seat of Lord Jesus Christ Savior in this first 2022 year worship service. Let's begin this service. Come let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you and to praise your holy name for this beautiful first 2022 year worship service element lord thank you for your love your protection and all the good things in your life in the year 2021 lord it is your grace your mercy your blessings to upon us that we came in this new year element lord we want to give this all this time to your mighty and thy hand be with us and guide us through this service your name will be glorified and magnified i pray this way in jesus name we all say amen now this time choir will lead us in praise and worship. Good morning church and we welcome you to this new year and on behalf of uh, Wilder Memorial English Church we wish you a prosperous and a happy new year and we pray that God's guidance and his blessings will be with you as you walk through this entire year and let us enter into this year by thanking and singing praise to our Lord and Savior and proclaiming his holy name. Thank you, Lord. With a great 
grateful heart with a song of praise, with an outstretched arm. I bless your name, thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
This time we will sing hymn number 36, To God Be the Glory. To God be the glory, great things He had done. So loved He the world that He gave us His Son, who yielded His life and atonement for sin. And open the life gate that all may go in. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear His voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father, to Jesus the Son. And give him the glory, great things he had done. O perfect redemption, the purchase of blood. To every believer, the promise of God. The wildest offender, who truly believes. That moment from Jesus a pardon receives. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear His voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. O oh, come to the Father, to Jesus the Son, and give him the glory, great things he had done. Great things he has taught us, great things he has done. And great our rejoicing through Jesus the Son. But purer and higher and greater will be. A wonder our transport when Jesus we see. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear His voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father, to Jesus the Son. And give him the glory, great things he had done. We will express our faith saying the Apostle Creed prayerfully. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ his holy, only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended to hell. The third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. This time we will read Psalm number, response reading Psalm number 103, 103. Psalm number 103. Praise the Lord, O my soul, all my inmost being. Praise His holy name. Praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. Who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. Who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all the oppressed. He made known his ways 
to Moses his deeds to the people of Israel the lord is compassionate and gracious slow to anger abounding in love he will not always accuse nor will he harbor his anger forever he does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities for as high as the heavens are above the earth so great his love for those who fear him as far as the east is from the west so far ha- has he removed our transgressions from us as a father has compassion on his children so the lord has compassion on those who fear him for he knows how we are formed he remembers that we are dust as for man his days are like grass he flourishes like a flower of the field the wind blows over it and it is gone and its place remembers it no more but from everlasting to everlasting for the lord's love is with those who fear him and his righteousness with their children's children with those who keep his covenant and remember to obey his precepts the lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all praise the lord you his angels you mighty ones who do his bidding who obey his word praise the lord all his heavenly host you his servants who do his will praise the lord all his works everywhere in his dominion praise the lord o oh my soul this time we will sing hymn number 123 123 tell me the story of jesus tell me the story of jesus right on my heart every word tell me the story most precious sweet as it ever was on tell how the angels in chorus sang as they welcomed his birth glory to god in the highest peace and good tidings to all tell me the story of jesus right on my heart every word tell me the story most precious sweet as it ever was heard fasting alone in the desert tell of the days that he passed how we were tried and was tempted yet was triumphant at last Tell of the years of his labors Tell of the sorrows he bore He was despised and afflicted Homeless, rejected and poor Tell me the story of Jesus Write on my heart every word Tell me the story most precious sweet as it ever was on Tell of the cross where the nails did hanging in anguish and pain Tell of the grave where the laid him Tell how we live it again Loving the story so tender clearer than ever I see Say let me weep while you wish the pain of us and for me Tell me the story of Jesus right on my heart every word Tell me the story most precious sweet as it ever was heard Let's pray Heavenly Father we want to thank you and to praise your holy name for this beautiful time you have given to us to come to your presence and worship you and adore you in this 2022 year almighty lord we want to give honor we want to give glorify your name for the year 
2021 almighty lord thank you for your love your protection your care your all the good things in our life miraculously and wonderfully you have given to us in last year almighty lord thank you have given this beautiful year to come come celebrate come to you and let's give thanks to your holy name almighty lord we want to give honor and we want to praise your holy name for the for this beautiful time almighty lord oh lord almighty especially i want to submit this whole time our church our believers to your mighty and thy hand be with them guide them strengthen them give them good heal heal them completely and through their lives your name will be glorified and magnified almighty lord especially want to pray for those who are in various conditions those who are hospitalized those who are not well going through trouble and so many pain and agony in this year oh lord almighty you be with them guide them strengthen their hearts and minds soul so they will worship you and adore you in spirit and truth almighty lord especially want to pray for this year will be blessed put to each and every one almighty lord this year you guide our people you guide, strengthen our people you bless our people our church you give good talents and skills to our people so they can worship you adore you in all their life to you almighty lord especially want to pray for our c sunday school women's fellowship our beautiful choir almighty lord you want to give them to your mighty and thy hand this year will be very Uh, blessing food to them almighty lord you be with them and guide them whatever do he- here to your ministry you bless them abundantly and tremendously almighty lord especially want to pray for our all the session members you be with them you guide them through their lives your name will be glorified almighty lord especially want to pray for our pastor his ministry over here his family heal him completely give him good health in this year and this year will be very blessed full and ministerful to him and your ministry almighty lord all as we servant all we want to submit our lives to mighty hand guide us and lead us as we do ministry in this church and uh, people almighty lord especially want to pray for our immediate work in various towns and villages almighty lord bless our villages bless our people over there bless our evangelists his family over there and through this year let give us more harvest to us so we, we will go there and we will pick up them almighty lord especially want to pray for our kolhapur church council all the pastor all the evangelists all the missionaries over there you guide them you lead them and through their lives your name will be glorified and magnified let your kingdom extension through their lives almighty lord especially on prepare executive committee all the executive members all the evangelical educational and the medical work almighty lord bless each and every work whatever they have planned the purpose you fulfill them in this year whatever they have challenges the concern regarding so many uh, critical conditions and problematic things you take your mighty hand and solve in this year all that things almighty lord and through our kolhapur church council your name will be glorified and magnified especially want to pray for our state maharashtra our governor our chief minister uh, all the cabinet minister over there bless them guide them as they lead this state almighty lord as the corona crisis increasing numbers in maharashtra various places we want to pray to you Almighty Lord, you are a healer. You are Jehovah Rapha. You take control on this situation. Whatever they have plan and purpose, our state government, we want to give them to your mighty and thy hand. Let their every plan for this corona condition that will be succeeded in days to come, Almighty Lord. Especially we want to pray for our country, India, our Prime Minister, our President, the Cabinet Minister over there. Bless each one of them. Bless each state, Governor, Chief Minister, all the MLA, MPs of this country, Almighty Lord. Through their lives, your name will be glorified and magnified, Almighty Lord. Whatever their plan, their pur- plan and purpose, aim about this Corona Omicron variant, our country, India. We want to give to you my mighty and thy hand. Whatever task force is doing for the people's uh, life. Lord Almighty, we want to pray to you, guide them, lead them, whatever they plan, the purpose for the stop this Corona and variant, variant Omicron variant in the, our country. We want to pray to you, you guide them, lead them, and through their lives, their, your name will be glorified and magnified. As your servant, Mr. Anil Tado, sir, is going to preach from your word. Lord Almighty God, you speak through him 
in this time and matter. Once again, you want to submit out this time to mighty and the hand. Be with us and guide us. I pray this prayer in Jesus' name. We all say, Amen. For this first 2022 worship service, in the midst of us, we have a guest speaker, Mr. Anil Zado, sir. May I call sir to please come forward and deliver the word of God today. I praise God and thank God for he found me worthy to stand before his altar to proclaim his word. I also thank the pastors and the session members for giving me this wonderful opportunity to share the word of God on this very auspicious day. Shall we go to the scripture? The scripture portion is taken from Matthew chapter 24 verses 36 to 44 and I read it for you. The day and hour unknown. No one knows about the day or hour, not even the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. For in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, up to the day Noah entered the ark. And they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. That is how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. Two men will be in the field. One will be taken and other left. Two women will be grinding with a hand mill. One will be taken, the other will, other will be left. Therefore, keep watch because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. But understand this, if the owner of the house had known at what time the night the thief was coming, he would have kept watch and would not have let his house be broken into. So you also must be ready because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. Shall we have a word of prayer? Gracious Heavenly Father, I praise you and I worship you and I adore you. Father, I am a man of unclean lips. I am slow of speech, slow of tongue. Nothing good dwells in me, O Lord. Father, Open our eyes so that we may see the truth hidden in thy words. Open our ears so that we may be able to hear your voice. Father, help me so that I may speak in the power of the Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, and so it is that the calendar has finally flapped and we have begun into a brand new year that is year 2022. Last year it was year 2021 and there we had a lot of sorrow, grief, pain and we have missed many goals. Not only that we have missed or lost the loved ones and the friends. Apart from that, we have lost so many other things that are uncountable. But this does not mean that we should not pause and reflect on the turnings of the calendar. Do you remember what Moses said? Moses asked the Lord, teach me to number our days so that we may gain a heart of wisdom. That is what we read it in Psalm 19, 90, 12. Time, second, minutes, hours, days, week, months, year. All these things are the gift from a God. To wisely follow him, making the most of every opportunity. Because the days are evil. 
That's what we read in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 16. Dear brothers and sisters, it is important to have reappraisal. We are able to see challenges as opportunities and begin to view our lives in terms of strength instead of weakness. It reduces the negative emotions. The world has been in pandemic for the last almost two years. The virus continued to spread at a slow burn. Lockdowns at irregular intervals have made our life horrible. The pandemic has laid series of losses from our sense of safety to our social connections, to our financial security, to the loss of the loved ones. The situation provoked anxiety, stress and sadness. It was a time of collective sorrow. There was a communal grief, work, health care, education and economic systems were all destabilized. Not only that, there were natural disasters happened in the last year and as if we have never seen them before. The disasters related to weather, climate and water hazards occurred in such a way that we never experienced such kind of thing for over the last 50 years. Looking at the disasters that took place, we have virus outbreak, cyclones, hurricanes, floods, landslides, explosions, hospital fire, etc. It caused a great loss of the property and loss of human life. Today, we have entered into the new year, that is 2022, with a great hope that we may have better days. But when we read about the different predictions for the year 2022, the, our hearts become ice cold. You must have heard about Nostradamus, and he was a French astrologer, physician and reputed seer, that is a prophet. He has made some predictions for the year 2022. And if we look at them, you will see the first one he said is Mitao strike and the asteroids showers. There will be great inflation, artificial intelligence taking over the world, hunger will increase, nuclear bombs will explode. So these are the few things that I have mentioned. Not only that, there is also, we have another seer that is a prophet named Baba Wanga. He is a Bulgarian prophet. He has predicted for the year 2022 that there will be a great famine, locust attack, earthquakes and tsunamis will increase. For India, the temperature will rise up to 50 degrees Celsius and not only that, there will be a great famine. So also there is another author also named W.L. George. He has made also some predictions. Anyway, we are not going to talk about it. Dear brothers and sisters, though we may not be too sure about these predictions, they are definitely Certainly, they are terrifying. It is a solemn thing to pass company with the old year, but it is still more solemn thing to begin a new year. It is like entering a dark passage. Dear brothers and sisters, considering the tragedies that we had in the year 2021, we see the uncertainty, the surprises, unprecedented elements happened. So this year also, when we look at the things, it may be uncertainty. And uncertainty is indeed here to stay with us in a dramatic way. Dear brothers, we do not know what we shall meet 
we do not know how the year will end how the days will be there but one thing is certain that everything seems to be uncertain we know what a day may bring forth dear brothers and sisters i ask you certain i ask you something i am sure that you will not like those things but let me say it are you ready for sickness perhaps you will not like this we are not healthy all the time there are viral infections are there the pollution of water the pollution of so weather and other things is there as a result of which our body which is fearfully and wonderfully made we can get sick many diseases may attack and the sickness will come sometimes we shall be in bed for some days maybe for some weeks also so are you ready for that are you ready for pain and weakness it is hard trial you are a very strong man also will bow down and he will feel that as if he is a child why because it will it can vary the temper and exhaust the patience and make a man crying as a result of this our reasons may be shattered our senses may be weakened our nerves may be unstrung the very grasshopper may become a burden to us dear brothers and sisters those who were affected by the corona virus and they have survived they know what is the weakness actually they have felt it they knew about it now the third thing that that is are you ready for the affliction afflictions man is born to sorrow that is what we read it in job chapter 14 verse 1 and this witness is true if our if our property is taken away and not only that our if our riches also fly away our friends fell the children will disappoint us the character may be assailed not only that our conduct may be misrepresented troubles the annoyances vexations anxieties may surround us from every side of our life and troubles may come one after the another are we ready for that we will definitely feel worn and worried and crushed to the dust those who are the light of our eyes when we lose them definitely we will cry and the tears and the deep mourning will be there death is certain death is inevitable definitely perhaps it may come this year also we do not know are we ready for all this we know that we are nothing better than a tenant in the sight of the lord are we ready for sickness are we ready for afflictions are we ready for pain and weaknesses that is the problem those who are the true believers of christ those who are the true followers of jesus christ what will be their answer what will they say they will say yes we are ready for that why will they say that they are ready for it because we have been born again we have received the gift of forgiveness condemnation for our sins our sins actually sins of the past sins of the present sins of the future they are rolled right off therefore we shall say yes we are ready for it no doubt we have experienced the transformation of our soul and heart and by the holy spirit so there is a change in the way we think there is a change that we manage the our emotions definitely it is the holy spirit that will help us to do all those things dear brothers and sisters what we we must be thankful for everything 
whatever the things come in our way whatever the things we may face we should praise the god we should thank the god and be thankful to god in all our con- in all conditions if bereavement comes if someone that whom we love dies they, then also we will say that the lord gave and the lord has taken away that is job chapter 1 verse 21 we have a ready savior jesus is ready to help us all the time he is there by our side because we have committed our life to him yes he, we have committed all our concerns to him jesus is our friend he is more than a brother so there is nothing to fear the one who has cleaned all our sins washed away all our sins he is the only judge so we need not fear and that's why we will shall say like king his kia that the lord was ready to save me isaiah chapter 38 verse 20 if the death draws near to our heart what will you say yes as he will when he will where he will so everything will be in his hands so we need not fear that is why we read it in philippians chapter 4 verses 4 to 7 that is rejoice in the lord always the peace of god will guard our hearts and our minds in christ jesus dear brothers and sisters it is really amazing that the second coming of jesus christ is not taken by most of the people very seriously they do not like to hear about it they do not like to think about it they do not like to read about it even though it is a powerful event it is ignored by most of the people even we are ready to believe so many other things but we are not ready to believe what jesus himself has said that he is coming again yes he is coming again when the people hear about it they will say we will think about it they will say we will think about it later we will see about it after some time after some days but dear brothers and sisters mind it well that what what guarantee do we have that we shall have a later opportunity we may not get that opportunity again on on this note i remember one story that was told long back a vessel carrying the passengers was in the voyage it was in the sea and what happened suddenly something went wrong and there was a big hole that is called as the spring leak as a result of which they tried their best to repair it but they could not as if finally what the captain of the vessel said he hoisted a signal of distress fortunately there was a ship going on they came to know about this they got the signal so they went very close to the vessel so that they can rescue the passengers and the captain of the ship said yes we are here even though it is very dark in the night we are ready to take the passengers the captain of the vessel said wait till morning again the same thing was repeated the captain of the vessel again said wait till morning because it is very dark outside again the captain of the ship said perhaps this is the last chance we can save the passengers so please act on it again the captain of the vessel said wait till morning and finally the vessel sank deep into the sea it was deep to the fathomless abyss jesus explains the elements of readiness we must be ready all the time because we do not know the time that he will come 
we should not say we will see it later we will postpone the things we will think about it no we need to take the decision and that is why jesus has given the best uh, parables there are so many other parables are there the best of one the best one is the parable of 10 virgins there he says very clearly be ready be prepared do you know one thing that it was a critical need of being prepared so uh, the five foolish virgins because they were not prepared they were locked outside because in those days it was the practice the bridegroom will come at any time to take the bride and the bride and the people they should be ready those who are ready at that time they will be taken in the others will be left out dear brothers and sisters i beseech you to get ready without delay all the things are ready from the god's part of our salvation the father is ready to accept you to receive you our lord jesus is ready to wash all our sins the holy spirit is ready to renew and sanctify us angels are ready to rejoice over us saints are ready to hold our right hand and take us jesus will come very suddenly we do not know the time we cannot think about it he will appear at any time so we need to be ready he will come in his majesty in the glory of his father with the angels and a flaming fire shall go before him the judgment shall be set the books shall be opened and some of them will be exalted into heaven there will be time of there will be no time for repentance now you cannot say that i will repent no there will be no more chance no more opportunity it will be a terrible thing if we are caught unaware it will be a terrible thing terrible thing if we are caught in surprise so we ought to make think about it we ought to examine ourselves it is fearful thing to fall in the hands of the lord hebrews chapter 10 verse 31 because those who have not believed those who have not confessed jesus christ as their personal savior on this earth he will be definitely punished those people they are the enemies of god they are careless ungodly impenitent jesus is coming again personally and visibly it is he is coming in back in power and glory he will return to consummate his redemptive mission and establish the eternal kingdom are we ready for that the primary purpose of bible's teaching on the end time events is not merely to satisfy our curiosity rather it is to reveal how to live in the light of future events what jesus said listen to it carefully he said and what i say to you i say to everyone be alert mark 13 37 scripture is not silent how to prepare on the second time dear brothers and sisters to summarize the preparation of second coming that is to say there are three impulses that help us to get ready the first impulse is pursue christ likeness now first the impulse that comes from the glorious prospect of seeing the lord that is what we read it in first john chapter 3 verses 2 to 3 we shall see what is written dear friends now we are children of god and what we will be has not yet been made known when he appears we shall be like him for we shall be we shall see him as he is everyone who has this hope in him will purify himself just as he is pure 
therefore we need to pursue him the impulse of becoming a radically pure holy living loving sacrificial dear brothers let us get the things clearly that that is the intense that is our intense hope and desire the second impulse is ready yourself for suffering suffering is very important before the christ comes every believer he will suffer he will have to undergo the sufferings the suffering is inevitable that is why the paul has said though through many tribulations we must enter the kingdom of god this suffering will be there the suffering it teaches us that god centeredness it teaches us endurance it teaches us perseverance no doubt but we need to suffer the lawless one i read repeat the lawless one will appear will be revealed definitely he will be killed by jesus but what is this lawless one and that is nothing but satan and definitely it is written in matthew chapter 24 verse 11 to 13 many false prophets will arise they will lead many astray the love will grow cold and one who endures to the last one who endures to the end will be saved dear brothers and sisters we need to get spiritually and mentally prepared and alert for all these things because there will be a deception there will be a false teaching therefore we need to submit ourselves to the word of god we need to eat the word of god we need to chew the word of god we need to hide the word of god in our hearts unless and until we shall not be there and we need to cultivate a strong faith unless we have the strong faith otherwise we will be shattered so in lawlessness means no law in god no law in nature no law in culture everyone will behave as one likes finally work faithfully for christ finally work faithful for christ we need to be found faithful and vigilant in our particular callings nt the in new testament over and over over it is said again and again it is said what that is to be watchful to be awake to be ready why it is said again and again because unless we are watchful unless we are ready we will not be come to know when jesus will come the best illustration as i said it before is of the 10 virgins the master has given all of us the assignments while he is gone we have got different gifts the resources the abilities thus the money the opportunities the relationship the spiritual discipline use it wisely for his glory use it faithfully and diligently all these peers are there dear brothers and sisters are we not eager to hear from the lord are we not eager to hear from the lord well then good and faithful servant come and share the master's happiness we are ready let us be prepared for it in this year 2022 may the lord bless you i wish you a happy new year thank you thank you sir for your beautiful message we have of our church our pastor and uh, session we want to thank you for that this time we will sing hymn number 463 when we walk with the lord when we walk with the lord 
In the light of His Word, what a glory He sheds on our way. While we do His good will, He abides with us still, and with all who will trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there is no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Not a shadow can rise, not a cloud in the skies, but His smile quickly drives it away. Not a doubt, not a fear, not a sign or a tear, can abide while we trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Not a burden we bear, not a sorrow we share, but a toil he doth richly repay. Not a grief, nor a loss, not a frown, nor a cross, but it's blessed if we trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. But, but we never can prove the delights of His love until all on the altar we lay. For the favor He shows, and the joy He bestows, are for them who will trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Then in fellowship sweet, we will sit at His feet, or we we'll walk by His side in the way. What He says we will do, where He sends we will go, never fear, only trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Lastly, we'll say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will. And may he work in us what is pleasing to him through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Let the beauty of Jesus be seen in me. All His wonders, compassion, and purity. O Thou Spirit Divine, O Thy nature refine till the Jesus be seen in me.